You seem to know a whole lot about me. I know you were once considered a fearless police officer. Kind. Get me a glass of water. I can't stand him. <laughs> he is just relishing the moment. Hey guys and welcome back to another reaction video. I'm Tavari and today we're going to be watching Saw 2. I think that the next one is where I stopped watching the series because this one started getting pretty gruesome. I haven't seen this since high school, middle school, high school. I've had some experience with the gory stuff now so maybe it made this a little bit easier for me. If you end up enjoying the video please do leave a rating and if you have the time leave a comment and be sure to share. I'm going to brave my way through this experience. All right here we go. Let's Let's, let's prepare for a saw too. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've definitely blocked out visuals from this because I don't even remember this. Society would call you an informant, a rat, a snitch. Now we will see if you are willing to look inward rather than outward, to give up the one thing you rely on in order to go on living. What's up with the wire? What's up with the wire? Careful, don't do it if you pull it. So listen carefully. The hint is this. It's right before your eyes. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna say I wouldn't survive that. You want, he wants, like, you gotta scoop the, oh. If he wouldn't have moved, the timer wouldn't have started, right? He could have just stood in the corner and just, you know, I'd rather starve to death. Hello! Are you really gonna do that? Just, just let go. Just let go. Just let go. Why are we starting this hard? Maybe, maybe with adrenaline? You just won't feel it? Now, to be clear, I don't mean you wouldn't feel that mask. Technically, you probably wouldn't feel the mask. It's kind of an instant insta-kill. But I mean, for the eye, maybe if you have enough adrenaline, you just, you just, and, and you don't feel anything. Wishful thinking. Sign this. Your mother gets to keep custody. I get to take you into custody. Why are you such a cop 20 Hey, it's called being a father. Trust me, you're better at being a cop. Throw the hot coffee on him. <laughs> Officer, I did him just by looking at him. Well, he wasn't positive. That's why I wanted you here. I'm gonna look at his face. I'll tell you in two seconds if it's him or not. You might find that very difficult to do when you see this contraption. Yeah, it's Mike. What are you gonna tell me about that? Thought you'd want to see it for yourself. Why can't these games be a little bit more? Fair. I don't think it's fair to have to put an eye out to get a key. Maybe like something a little less. Painful. And you're the expert. Look closer, Detective Matthews. I'm not the one taunting you, he is. Doesn't mean I have to take the bait. I don't know. If somebody leaves a message for you directly depicting that they know about you, you probably might need a little bit of a guard detail. Look closer, Detective Matthews. He asked for you. All right, fellas, listen up. I'm doing this in broad daylight. I don't want to scare any civilians. I've been there before. I know the location. I thought your caseload was big enough as it is. Just tag along for the ride. Seems like a bit... Well, maybe not. I don't know. They're really bringing a full force like this? No, no, I don't blame them. At this point, Jigsaw's been a thing, so... I don't think they're taking any chances. No, no. Why would you not be expecting something to be wrong here? What's what was that? Did a blade just hit his legs? I'm 
<laughs> You're right. Absolutely do not trust him. Clear. I think that's my son. It's got my son. Hey, control yourself. Out of all the, all the victims in the first movie, none of them were kids. He's, he's reaching new heights here. We in jail? Nah. This ain't jail, man. I don't think anybody's listening. Somebody's listening. Those types of cameras don't have sound. Isn't there a way, uh, isn't there a way that they could kind of check where the cameras are monitoring? We should all just calm down. Shut up, shut up. I hear something. Get your head away from the door. It's ticking. I hear ticking. Get away from the door. Get away from the door. No! 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 No, it's okay. No! What are you looking for? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Come on. Come on, guys. Right now, you are breathing in a deadly nerve agent. Those of you familiar with the Tokyo subway attacks, will know its devastating effects on the human body. I have to know, is that a real thing? Thank God. The numbers are in the back of your mind. Once you realize what you all have in common, you will gain a better understanding of why you're here. Well, I guess it is a real thing. Do not attempt to use this key on the door to this room. How about you listen? Oh, yep. Okay, um... Who's testing us? Jigsaw. Who the hell is Jigsaw? You know what? He shouldn't have been next to the door when he twisted the key anyhow. Everybody should have stayed away from it. If the dude was going to be brave by himself, he should have did it alone. Play by the f***ing rules! How do you know all this? Because I've played before. I want to take team in here now. Find out where that beat is coming from. Yeah, there we go. That should have been like a long time ago. They should have been calling in for that. What, we sat here and watched this for like 10 minutes and they still hadn't called anyone? I only want to talk to you. Everyone else must leave. Those are my conditions. No. It's a crime scene. Nobody leaves. They don't have to leave the building. They just have to leave this area. I swear to God, I'll rip your f***ing head off. I'm a cancer patient. How could you possibly put me in any more pain than I'm already in? Still not justified. Him being a victim of cancer does not give him the right to pass all this judgment and do these weird traps. What are we gonna do? Just humor him. Buy us a little more time. You all possess the combination to the same. Thank God. The numbers are in the back of your mind. It was something simple, right? It was something very simple and they all could have survived. The numbers in the back of your mind, what is... It's kind of intriguing because I like puzzles, but I wouldn't want to play a puzzle for my life. <laughs> Look at this. The doors are locked. You hear that? It's wood. Plaster. It's not a fortress. All right? I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah. Exit. You just go ahead and walk right out. Trust that. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Really? You, honestly, if you, the first door you see and it says exit and you're really gonna try it, I'd look around a little bit more. Let's talk. Sit down, Eric. I wanna play a game. Listen to me. If you do that long enough, then you will find your son in a safe and secure state. What do you really wanna do to me right now, huh? What would you have done five years ago? How would you have followed the manual, huh? You seem to know a whole lot about me. I know you were once considered a fearless police officer. Kind of. Get me a glass of water. I can't stand him. <laughs> he is just relishing the moment. Kind of get me a cup of water, a spot of tea. <laughs> This guy's a liability. He tries to brute force everything and everyone just like, get away from him. I think we should be concentrating on that tape because that tape said we had more in common than we know. The three of us doing stretches. Hey, I found a door over here. Don't finish your thought. Finish your thought. Don't, don't let the door distraction stop you. What? Stop. 
stop. This is Obi. Obi, it's my name. Inside the device in front of you are two antidotes for the poison coursing through your veins. One is my gift to you for helping me kidnap the others. Hmm? The second is yours to donate. Oh, Lord. What does that mean? Kidnap the others. Not what I know. Because you put us here. Okay, maybe he was threatened into doing it. Never know. I did what I had to do. I'll give you a choice. You got five seconds to get us out of here. This one is a rabid dog and needs to be put down. What is wrong with him? We got two antidotes at the back of that oven. We're wasting time here. Wasting time? Are you kidding me? I mean, there was two, so which two people get the antidote? We'll work that out later. Right now, you're going in there. Well, I'll kill you where you stand. Why is everyone just allowing this? Oh, so he's crazy. You don't mess with that. You don't mess with that. Not that type of crazy. Somebody hold it open. Somebody hold it open. Stand in the way. I don't know. Something. Come on, Nini. You guys can fight over this one. Thank you, Bobby. Stop. Someone should have been in front of that. I can't get it open! So what was the trick to it? Did he have to just open it a little bit? Not open it, did he have to pull it off a little bit more carefully? Like, unwind it? Use your coat! Guys, there's a window over here. Uh, I don't think so, not this time. Oh no, hand off the antidotes. <laughs> hand off the antidotes with your last bit of life. I have to say, Abby, that was a little selfish. <laughs> Could have handed off some of that, that antidote. You see Detective Darwin's theory of evolution. So far, it's not bad. I think the... The trap in the beginning of the movie was the worst. You said you wanted to talk. Then you said you wanted to play a game. You're talking, but it means nothing! The cure for cancer. What is it? I don't know what it is. But I know it's not killing and torturing people. Never murdered anyone in my life. The decisions are up to them. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. If I were to tell you the exact date and time of your own death, it would shatter your world. Can you imagine what it feels like to have someone sit you down? John Kramer? And tell you that you're dying. The gravity of that. What he's saying is true, yes, but this is not 100%. If that's what sent him off and spiraled into this whole killing spree, it wasn't 100%. But most people have the luxury of not knowing when that clock's gonna go off. You can still fix this, John. I'm not fixable. I've had cancer. <laughs> the cancer is an excuse for what you do. No. The cancer isn't what started me at my work. Oh, never mind. There's the answer to that question. Did he set himself up in his own trap? I had literally driven myself to suicide. And I had failed. But to my amazement, I was alive. It doesn't make any sense. No one put him through a test for not appreciating his life, and that, just because he survived, that doesn't mean that was the test. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. I mean, someone needs to put him through one where he has to fight for his life and do all these stupid little puzzle things to try and live. That, what he went through, does not, it's not equal to what he's putting these people through. Amanda, you said you survived this, right? And what? You've played before and you survived. Yeah. So that means we could survive. Yeah. Yeah, if the game's not rigged for you all to actually just die. I mean, I've been in trouble a few times, you know? In and out of stuff. My dad's the... It's real hard. There you go. <laughs> Probably got half the city right now looking for me. Uh, you know, actually, maybe now is the time to divulge all the information in between everybody. 
They still need to establish their link. Move, move, come on. Take it easy. Jesus. Just back up, all right? <coughs> now, everyone else has been doing this the whole time. I mean, just look. It's all brawn and no brain. <laughs> Did it now. Now what? I'm gonna be right back, okay? What what if it just opens in four minutes? I don't know. Hey stupid, it's for you. <laughs> Come listen to your message, fool. The game I want to play is very similar to the one that you've been playing. The game of offering hope to the desperate for a price. I think we can agree that your situation is desperate. By entering this room, oh a timer has been started. When the timer expires, the door in front of you will be locked forever. Just one hint as to where that key is. It's a hell no for me. It's a hell no. <laughs> Let the game begin. It's gonna be a no for me. No, no, no! You better no, fight no, with no, your no, life, girl. <laughs> I can't with that. Not the needles. Don't move. Don't move. God die. Ah, I can't. I can't. I won't. Won't do it. Won't watch it. Nope. Uh, this is definitely not up my alley. I'm watching, I'm just squinting so I don't see the full detail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's so rough with it. Okay. No, 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 no. No! I would have his life. Put me through all of that and you still didn't even open it on time. Let's talk this out. No. No more talking. I'm gone. Good. Good. Let him go. Let him go. He just threw that woman in there and nobody has stood up for her. Nobody. How do you get your conviction without all this evidence, Eric? Why wait? We both know the sort of person you are, sir. Get out of here. So it's the sort of person who plants evidence in order to obtain a conviction. The sort of person whose wife leaves him and whose son hates him. That's what it is. He planted evidence. Why does that land his son in this situation? You were the arresting officer in all their cases. And you were the one who planted all the evidence used to obtain their convictions. Your son is playing a game with a lot of people who don't like you very much, Detective. Wait a second, he planted the evidence on all those people, so why are they in this game? <sighs> yeah, no, he still got them for their lifestyles, but still, how about, why can't everyone just play like Rainbow Road on its highest difficulty? That, you know, get do that. And if you get first place, you finally get to leave and live. You all possess the combination to the same. I was just thinking about that. The clue to the order can be found over the rainbows. There, well, I'm like, none of them have still thought back to the first thing that he said. What are you doing? I decided you. You know, the others, they're scared of you. We can keep going at each other like we back in the yard, or we can come together and figure out who's doing this to us. You know, I'm a pretty optimistic person myself, but that dude, I would have no optimism for him. He would be useless to everybody. It's just me, and that's the way I like it. Now, turn around. What? Turn around. Oh no, he still got a Yeah, there you go, there you go. That's what, that's what should have happened when he threw that girl into the pile of needles. 
minus the needle scene in this movie, I've done a pretty good job holding it together, you know? Kind of, kind of proud. <laughs> no, no, please don't do that. Oh. You just don't think at any point you might need these other people to help survive. You just don't think that? In one hour, the, the front door will open. We're not gonna make it that long. That's a real winning attitude. She knows what she's talking about. Why has no one questioned that she's not even coughing up any blood? She's not coughing. She's not the least bit sick like the rest of them. This is your father? Wait, you know him? He's the guy who put me away. He set me up. <laughs> <laughs> All the squishy sounds. Oh, oh. Man, why aren't you sick? <laughs> why are you not sick like everyone else? We gotta move. Oh, they're lucky that didn't get burnt up on him. He's the last person you want to see this. Do not run. No, she said she's the one who's had experience working with him. They should be listening to her. She knows how he works. Okay, I heard it, okay? That, that's enough for me. <laughs> oh, okay. No, listen! Ooh, listen, listen, you should have listened. No, you stupid. Why? Now I'm watching. Oh my God, Jonas! Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's okay. It's okay. Help her. Just you know, like like push them up so that she can let her hands out, although they got cut up so bad already. I don't think there's any chance for her. Oh, the violence just got so intense. It just got so bad. Game, game over. I'll, I'll take you to the house. How do we get out of here? Oh, the fool. He should have just listened to her. It's the way out. This is Karen. They're both gone. Yes. Carrie, we got a lock. We got a lock on the house. Great, we got it. What? 237 North High Crescent. 237 North High Crescent. Got it. Where to? No! He's just broke all the protocol. Even if he wasn't going to play the game, let the people do their job. They just got the info. There's no way to go! Man, what is it? It's a door! Help me move this thing! It's locked! Let me in! These people would have never survived Resident Evil. From the bet, they didn't they didn't research anything. They didn't look around for clues. They just started forcing everything, and it's because of that dude. Eric, you gotta need this key. Where's his phone at? Shouldn't they have told him, hey, you know what? We got the address. Where the hell are we? Go. 
You have to give it to Saw. They have some good storytelling. Like the structure of the way that they show the stories. We're in the house. I repeat, we're in the Cannot house. Cannot see you, Sergeant. Repeat, cannot see you. All he had to do was wait for his team. They're already there. Back to the original. Gotta love a callback. What are you doing? No! He wants us to cut through. No! Wait, why were there two bodies in there? Didn't the other dude crawl out in the end of the last movie? Did John go get him and bring him back? Cause that's kind of, I mean, all of it's messed up, but that's really messed up. I mean, you could just ask someone, really. But nothing this guy does makes sense. It makes no sense. Oh, <laughs> so graphic. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and all this could have been avoided if you would have just stopped with being you from the beginning. Okay. Good job. Good job. Left side clear. Right side clear. Cannot see you. It's not live. But they seem like the same house. Were they not running through the same type of house right there? Ah, uh, brain, work with me. Ah, uh, boop the snoot. Don't forget to boop this note. You can live. All he had to do was wait. Even if he had gone to the false location, he would have been okay. I was guilty. Oh, but my life was saved that day. You said you survived this, right? Yeah. A leader. A teacher. You must meet death in order to be reborn. Ah, I hate it so much. Why would they do that again? Well, we know that sawing off the leg will not help, so that's not an option. Do that long enough, you will find your son in a safe and secure state. The knowledge of your son's impending death has caused you to forgive all his sins. It is I who will carry on John's work after he dies. Daniel! And you Daniel! are my first test subject. Game over. Oh. And then John gets away all over again. He messed it all up so very badly. Yeah, that was still very difficult to watch. <laughs> sure, I looked away, but I kind of feel like, you know, it went a little bit. It's better than what I, how I handled it in, when I was in high school. In the safe, if they would have all worked together, did the safe have all of the antidotes in it? It's just that there's so many things that they could have done so differently, and it would have been lined up so much better for them if Xavier could have held it together. Some of them seem so unfair. I mean, the whole thing is a setup. That's unfair, but still. And then the girl with the thing where she reached in and she was trying to reach for it. Like, why put your... You know that your hand got caught in there against blade. Let me put my other hand in too and see what happens. Come on. Push the blade away so that you can get your hand out and maybe take that little... Take that little thing down with you. I do like the way that they did the storytelling though, the, the back and forward. A lot of people just can't do that type of storytelling very well. Sometimes that throws you off where you're like, you're caught on one piece and you don't want to wait for that to come back around. So you're just like, oh my God, I wish they'd get rid of this extra thing that we're going through. But both stories were so well developed at the same time, side by side, that you're, even when you flip to one and the other, you're just like, oh, I'm still interested. Okay, let's see what's going on here. And then when you go back to the other one, you're like, I'm still invested very good storytelling but we'll see when we get back around to that we got so many things to do here in october so let's keep the ball rolling i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves here today please do leave a rating and if you have the time please comment and share and i'll see you in the next video until then give someone a reason to smile bye for now